Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Sublime Sims, also known as Soft Girl Gaming on TikTok, and I am so excited to be sharing another episode of Westminster. In today's episode, the girls are going to be taking their first set of exams. So we're starting off the night beforehand because there is also the TV premiere tonight. So I have them getting together to watch that. And then they'll be going to school Friday and then we're going to hang out with them after school Friday evening and maybe some of Saturday morning. Now every Saturday with high school years you have prom night but I would like for that to be its own episode so that will come next week. This is just going to be a regular routine kind of weekend for them in this episode. Now last episode Vivian did graduate early so I do plan on following up with her university um, application because I do want her to start on that so that she can still be active in the house and a part of the story. But yeah it's going to be a pretty laid back episode, um, nothing too crazy but just kind of what a normal weekend would look like in this house. And we may see some of the boys from last episode too, I haven't fully decided so We'll kind of see what happens there. I'm trying to decide how much um, drama I would like to incorporate into today's episode. But lastly, before I get into the gameplay, I just want to remind you guys that if y'all are enjoying these videos, please hit that subscribe button and like. I will still be doing that giveaway once I hit 1,000 subscribers. And the winner will receive one free expansion pack. It's free to enter and it's free to subscribe. With all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. All right, y'all. All of the girls are sitting here watching the premiere. This is so cute. I'm loving this little bonding moment. I also just love how like half of them are still in their uniforms. Half of them are regular clothes. And then the last little bit of them are in pajamas. But, you know, whatever makes them comfortable is fine. I'll show you guys kind of where they're watching. But I think this is so cute. I did not want anybody waking up sad in the morning, so I just decided to have all of them come down and do this so that they get the credit for the holiday. I think for the school day tomorrow, I am not going to like do it with them. I'm just going to send them off just to make sure that everyone gets everything done because it is kind of hard to control six sims in high school at the same time. And I don't want anyone missing their exam. So I'm going to have everyone kind of start to do their nighttime routine as they're finishing watching the premiere. I want Vivian to come in here and first of all, we need to get rid of these. Then I'm going to have her come over and brush her teeth. Does she need to take um, a shower? Yeah, I'm going to have her go ahead and take a shower. And then she can head off to bed when she's done. She does not have school tomorrow, so she actually gets to kind of sleep in. Okay, next up we've got Maribel here. She's talking to Veronica a little bit. Y'all, the leg and arm here. It's a little out of control, but I'm going to let it be for right now. Now before she gets in the bed, I'm going to have her also come up and use the bathroom and then do her skincare. Okay, we just sent Vivian to bed. Veronica is still awake. Let's check on hers. Oh, she actually needs to eat something. I'm just going to get her some leftovers. And then when Vivian is done, we'll have her also take a shower and then head up to bed. Then it looks like Francesca, Blair, and Josephine already headed off to bed. I didn't even have to do anything. They are over it. Oh my gosh, no, wait. Blair's hygiene is so low. Look at the green cloud. Is anyone in this shower? Okay, let me have her come take a shower, and then she can go right back to bed if she wants. But we cannot have her going to sleep like that. All right, while everyone is wrapping up their nighttime routine, I'm just going to send everyone off to bed, and then we are going to catch up with everybody once they're home from school um, tomorrow afternoon. All right, y'all, it is after exams. I decided to be a little messy and have Maribel ask Alex on a date. If y'all remember, Blair, her frenemy, is really into Alex, so she is definitely trying to one-up her I don't even think that Maribel is really that into him. Like, she has a crush on him, 
but I don't know. I just feel like this is just more of a chance to try to be better than her or prove that she's better than her because again, in Maribel's head, she is. I have her over here flirting with him. I think that I want to go ahead and reveal her crush. Let's just see. Let's just see how this goes. I'm really curious to see because Alex flip-flopped on Blair so fast in the last episode. Is she doing it? I can't tell if she told him or not. Oh, I think she did because it's not popping up anymore. I want to see if will they snuggle on the sofa. Oh, y'all not the glitch. Okay, let me have them sit together. Alex, now why would she go away? Like, who is this girl? All right, we'll just have them sit at the table. This always happens when I try to send my sims on dates. Like random townies just get in the way. They can't snuggle up here, so maybe I can just have her try to do something like blow a kiss. Um, oh wait, wait, maybe she didn't reveal her crush. He's definitely into it. That looks like a positive reaction. And he's feeling flirty. Let's ask him a risque question. Because y'all, I also feel like Maribel is not a serious relationship kind of girl. Like this is all just fun and honestly a game to her. Her real love interest is actually Ezra. Now, whether she'll ever try to like pursue that, I don't know. But, oh, whatever she just did did not go well. He's like, um, actually, you're doing a little too much for me. Let's try to embrace him. Oh, okay, that went well. So maybe he just didn't like that question. I decided to have them come outside and build this little snow pile together. I think it's going to be so cute when they finish. And then I still have a lot of time on this date. So I'm having them do something just kind of friendly right now. But I do want to see if we can get them to kiss. I just kind of want to see like how far Alex is willing to go with her. But aside from the drama, this is just really cute, especially for a date. Stop, this is so cute. Let me go to the front. It's the little head covering for me, <laughs> the little scarf. Oh, they got gold. Okay, so let me have her, because we got 10 out of 10 interactions. Let me have her see if we have enough. We don't have enough romance yet to do a kiss, so we're going to try another embrace. And then let's just do um like a pickup line, maybe. I feel like their romance is high enough. We already revealed our crush, so I don't want to do that again. Um, just flirt maybe because he's feeling flirty and she's feeling very flirty. Oh, I think we can kiss him now because it said kiss neck. Ask to be boyfriend. Stop. Wouldn't this be like the ultimate jab at her if we did that? I, I feel like Maribel would go for it. But we're going to see how their first kiss looks. We need to get um, up close and personal for this. Stop. I think I'm going to be messy and do it. 
I think I'm gonna be messy and do it. I'm gonna have her ask. Why does he have the broken heart? Steamy exchange. What sim could say no under these circumstances? Oh my gosh, she said yes. Well, this took a turn I wasn't expecting. I came into this thinking I was going to take it slow and just have them hang out. But clearly, um, things have gotten serious very quick. I think now they definitely need a photo with each other. And then I'm going to switch back to the normal, um, or the, not the normal, but I guess like the rest of the household after they take their picture. Where's she going? How is she taking a picture and he's not? Oh, okay. Well, I guess he is here. It looks a little dark in the background. Maybe I can... Oh, that looks really orange. Maybe this one is a little brighter. Okay, we'll do one like this. And then... Where's the one? Yep, this is the one I was looking for. Okay, let me go ahead and switch back to the main house to catch up with everyone else. I am now back at the house with the rest of the girls and I have Blair and Veronica hanging out because if y'all remember, like I also briefly mentioned, they have crushes on each other, but they are just friends and I did get a few people saying that they want to see where it goes. So I'm having them spend a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time in Blair's room, but her fun is a little low. So let's do, look, she's feeling flirty because she's swooning. How can someone be so irresistible? Veronica can't stop dreaming about her crush. Let's have him uh, do a pillow fight. Mm. Hopefully no one actually gets hurt during this. I'm not going to lie. I really have not used this pillow fight feature. This is really cute though. She needs to use the bathroom, but I really want to keep her in here while she's feeling flirty. Okay, good. I was like, Vivian, you're going to have to leave. We need some privacy. All right, let me click on her and do... I'm trying to think, what would Veronica do to make her move? I feel like it would be something subtle. Am I doing this right? Because she's awkward. Absolutely. She's like, okay, okay, let's chill. Let's chill. I'm done now. I can't tell if that went well or not. Feeling encouraged with a little bit of fumbling and questioning where to put hands. A partner's encouragement really sets the mood. Okay, now we really have to keep going with this. Physical intimacy, what can they do? Oh, let's have her try to make a move then. She's like, well, since I'm doing this right, what do you think of this? Oh my gosh. Stop it right now. I'm shocked. I honestly thought that somebody would have messed this up by now. Look deeply into eyes. That's a little serious. Let's tickle her. Something's still kind of light. I feel bad because she has to use the bathroom and I'm just over here making her do all of this. I'm not going to do exchange numbers because they literally live in the same house. Y'all, let's try to kiss her hands. I feel like that's still something kind of small because it's just her hands. It's not super like serious or intimate. Amuko. Oh my gosh. So maybe Blair won't care that much if she finds out about Alex. Y'all, we have to do it. We have to see. Let me get the perfect angle for you guys. Let's see if they both go for it. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting this. Okay, I'm going to have Veronica give her a hug to kind of just tell her goodnight and then let her go take care of her needs. 
I feel like right now Veronica would just be like over the moon because again she's not super popular she's more on the shy side and awkward so I just feel like that probably went better than she could have even imagined her fun is also a little low so I think I'll have her just watch a little tv before she heads off to sleep while she does all of that, I do want to check up on the other girls in the house. So it looks like Francesca is catching up on some homework. Y'all, this arm hair is getting a little crazy. I think we might need to shave that. But she is a little bit hungry. So when she's all done with her homework, um, first this needs to go in the trash. And then let's have her get some leftovers if there are any. It looks like there aren't. So I'm just going to get her to make something just for herself. We'll just do um, a salad because I don't think her cooking skill is very high. I'm going to check on her sister, Josephine. It looks like she's got a painting ready to sell. Now, Josephine was the only one that did not get a good grade on her exam. So I do think that she is going to be doing some studying and homework this weekend. But luckily, she is still an A student, so she doesn't have to try too, too hard. But earlier, she did have a tense buff from not getting a good grade. It looks like Maribel just made it back. She is super happy because she got a gold date and had her first kiss. Now, Maribel does like to gloat a little, so I think it's only fitting that we go on Social Bunny and make a post about it to kind of also rub it in her face a little. Oh, what? How can we not do a new post? We just came from a date. Well, we can make a regular post about Alex then. Is she not friends with him on here? Oh, we may need to add him as a friend. Okay, now let's see if we can make a post about him. All right, there we go. We're going to do um, something flirty. And let's see what the post ended up being. I get complete brain freeze every time I see Alexander. How can someone be so dreamy? Look, she's like all happy and flirty. I'm going to check on her needs, but I think that everything for her is good. She's just a little hungry too, so I'll let her just get um, a quick meal. Is there any food in there? No, there's not. Okay, so we'll just do a quick meal because hers isn't too, too low. Um, I'm just going to have her grab some cereal and then she can go upstairs and head off to sleep because it is getting kind of late and the girls do not have any plans tonight since prom is tomorrow night. I'm also going to send Veronica off to sleep. It looks like um, Vivian didn't waste any time getting in the bed. <laughs> She's like not even waiting on anyone else. And then Francesca, why is everyone hungry right now? I don't know why they waited so late to eat. I guess I'll have her also get a quick meal. We'll just do the same thing. So I'm going to finish getting everyone ready to get um, off to bed since again it is late. And then I think I want to catch up with them in the morning. Veronica is up bright and early. She is pretty hungry. So I'll probably have her go ahead and make some breakfast for everybody. Because I don't think everyone else is going to be up as early as she is. So let me have her serve some scrambled eggs and bacon. Now I'm pretty sure Veronica has work today. I think it's at night. So she starts work at 6. And if y'all remember, Veronica is the only girl in the house that has to work. So she has not actually told her friends though that that's what she does. Because she is a little embarrassed, I guess. Um, so she just tells them that like she's either going to study like on her own or that she has plans, but she has actually been going to work from six to midnight as a babysitter. So yeah, she kind of tends to keep certain things about herself secretive just to feel a little bit better, but maybe over time as she gets more comfortable and feels like she's fitting in, she'll be more herself around the other girls. Looks like Josephine is up and oh my gosh, something, I swear in this house, something's always broken. Is it the sink? Okay, we'll have her replace that and then mop. 
looks like her sister is awake. Francesca is up feeling inspired, doing some painting. I still cannot get over Josephine's pictures up here. These are so cute. I literally love this one, especially. Okay, Blair is awake. Now, my plans with um, Blair for today was I was going to have her spend some time with her horse since she doesn't really have too much time during the school week. So what I want to have her do first is come out and wake up Winnie. And then we're going to have her go for a ride. Because I feel bad. Her horse has been like a little neglected. Not in terms of needs, but just like not as much interaction as I would like. Why is she in her pajamas and it's freezing outside? I thought that she would have like changed before going outside. So let me go ahead and do that for her and put her in her cold weather outfit. Yeah, her social's low. Poor Winnie. All right, let's go for a ride. We're gonna do an intense ride. And I think I need to unlock um, this for her. Yeah, we need to unlock that so that they can actually get out. Let me have her come over here. It's saying that she can't. They are ready to go now. So she is taking her horse for an intense ride. If y'all remember, she has a really high horse riding skill. And can we just talk about, like, how pretty this looks between her, the horse, the snow? Like, I just love that they almost match. <laughs> and not her riding on, like, the pier. But honestly, it's a Blair's world. Everyone else is just living in it. She can do whatever she wants. She looks so good, like, it's definitely giving me a girl. Okay, while they're finishing their ride, let's go check on Maribel and see what she is up to since we haven't really seen her since her date. It looks like she just finished eating breakfast. Everything is good as far as her needs go. I did want to have her, um, I'm going to move this food so they can clean the counter, but I want to have Maribel come over and practice her cheer routine. She did get cheer captain, so I want her to keep up with that. Vivian still has not heard yet from the university, so I think I'm gonna have her check on that. Normally I make her go use her computer, but I'm just gonna have her use this one to double check. And hopefully we have some answers. Um, check application status, and then I'm also going to double check to see if there were any new scholarships, but it looks like there aren't. I still can't believe Vivian is already graduated. Like, that's so wild. Not even going to talk about Maribel being in her figure skating outfit. Whatever makes her feel good. Y'all the anticipation. Ah, she did get accepted. Oh my gosh, look how many distinguished degrees she's accepted into. Is that all of the ones she got into? I think that she did get accepted into those. Okay, let's see. Can we have her enroll now? Oh, she's very happy. Well distinguished, being accepted into a large number of distinguished degree programs. Let's check University of Brightchester first, but I will be honest, I don't have um, a strong preference for which one she does. But one thing I will say is she has the master actress um, aspiration. So I think that it would make sense for her to get a degree in drama 
So let's have her do that. I'm going to have her go full time because she's not doing anything else, let's be honest. And she'll stay here in the house. So it looks like her tuition is only going to be 460 because she has a merit scholarship. Now that Vivian is accepted into university, I decided to send her to the Darby house to meet some other students and get some work done. Is anyone here yet? It looks like no one's here. But I really love this build. Like, I'm just going to give a little quick overview of it. Who is this person? And why is he an elder? <laughs> like, no discrimination. You can go to college at whatever point you want, but... Okay, I'm going to have her take advantage of this free breakfast and get a spinach frittata because she did not eat at home. And I do want her to be focused when it's time for her to do some schoolwork. Ooh, uh, Yanavi, you're blick on chibi gurgadon, huh? Badoos. I'm really surprised that there aren't more sims here. Like... Oh, they're all over here. There's um an event going on. Debate participants. Y'all, why are the students like kind of old looking? <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Who is this? Mesquite Brown. That's an interesting name. Okay. I wonder if I should have had her come over and watch. Okay, when she is all done with her homework, I am going to, or sorry, not her homework, her food, I'm going to have her start her homework, but I do need to see what class she has first. Okay, so it looks like she has Love Labor's Laws on Monday, and then she also has 12th Nightclub on Monday. I'm going to have her do the homework for that first, because that is a 9.30 class. Okay, you guys, I think this is a great place to wrap up my video while Vivian is going to be working on her homework. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next episode is going to pick up later in this sim day for prom night. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe so that we can do that expansion pack giveaway hopefully very soon. Thank you guys again for watching.